In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. Now, these men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los, Va Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. Dun, 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 dun. No, no. All right. Well, when I was a kid, the A-Team was my very favorite show. I loved it. I watched every episode. I, I, it was my favorite. I probably because I liked violence and blowing stuff up. But I love the A-Team because uh, I think a couple major reasons. I loved the idea of being on a team like that that was really committed to each other. It was all kind of in the same mission. I loved that it, every week was a new impossible mission. You're like, there's no way that's going to happen, right? And it was, they were, it was always impossible because they were always outnumbered. They were always the underdogs, right? This, like, there's no way this can work. But they always won. And so I loved the A-Team and, and just growing up, that was my favorite show. So uh, we're starting a new team at Whitewater and you're on it. Ha ha, congratulations. And uh, it's not the A-Team and it's not the B-Team and it's not the C-Team, it's the D-Team. Sorry, you guys are the D-Team and uh, I'm really excited. But it's not order of importance, A, B, C, we didn't, those are not other teams. The D-Team is uh, something new that we're starting and it's really the team of disciple makers that are here at Whitewater. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about this. So you're here because you've participated in one of our disciple making pathways, or at least volunteered to participate in one of our disciple making pathways, right? Either you've been through a huddle or you've volunteered to lead somebody through stride. And so that means you're a disciple maker. And, um, that's a really big deal for me. So for a long time, I thought in terms of discipleship and I use that word discipleship minister, or I'm into discipleship or whatever. And I'm not, I'm not totally anti-discipleship, but, um, but what I've continually run into is that discipleship, when, I, when I'm discipleship focused, um, a lot of times it's very inward focused. It's very me, me, me. How do I grow? Uh, and it's totally different from what I see in scripture when I look at Jesus and his call to make disciples. Um, you know, when I, when I look at, uh, at scripture, you know, we, we have this phrase that we use. We say we try to do... Uh, use Bible words for Bible things, and we do Bible things in Bible ways. And if we're doing Bible things in Bible ways, nowhere in the Bible does it talk about shipping disciples, all right? That's not a thing that ever happened. I mean, technically, Book of Acts, right? Uh, Paul is, is shipped to Rome. But other than that, there's no shipping of disciples that happens. What we do is we make disciples, right? And I see, uh, I see disciple making happening all through the New Testament, not just with Jesus and his, but all through. We're, we'll talk about that more as we go along. But um, but if we're going to do Bible things in Bible ways, we need to be making disciples. And uh, we've got, we've done some like institutional things to try and do that. But I'm I'm really excited about this kind of new effort that we're we're doing to really make disciples who make disciples who make disciples who make disciples. So uh, every week uh, I'm going to send out I'm going to try to every week to send out some sort of communication from me to the D team, which you are on. And uh, the, goal, the goal of this communication is just kind of to encourage, first of all, uh, all of us in our disciple making efforts and really to, uh, to build skills, language and culture for uh, the disciple making movement that we're a part of. And so I'm really excited about what's coming and I'm hoping that you're excited too. So that's all I've got to say. You'll get more from me more from me next week. But uh, for now, thank you for being on the D team. If you feel like this is a waste of your time and you don't want to get these emails from me uh, easy enough, just let me know and you can get off the train. But other than that, you're the team that I'm going to when, we, when we've got disciple making stuff that needs to be communicated or when the disciple making work needs to be done. Uh, my very favorite book on this is, is Billy Graham's Master Plan of Evangelism. I've read it a lot of times. It's 50 something years old, but uh, he has this phrase that he uses. He says, do we see an ever expanding company of dedicated people reaching the world with the gospel as the result of our ministry? And so he says, you know, it's not just about gathering a crowd. I'm, I'm pro crowd. I want us to have a crowd. But he says, do we see an ever expanding company of dedicated people reaching the world with the gospel? And that is the D team for us. Uh, it's, it's an ever expanding company of dedicated people reaching the world with the gospel. So I'm all for come and see. I'm all for bringing them in. I want it. We're going to do that. We're going to do more of that than we've ever done. But also somebody has got to be the people that says I'm going to reach the world with the gospel. And that's you guys. So I'm excited about what's coming. Thank you for watching this video and I will, uh, I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.